So what's up guys? So, um, it's happened. The words that I didn't think I would ever say are finally here. Donald Trump has been arrested. You heard me right. This morning on April 4th, 2023, as of this recording, Donald Trump turned himself in to the Manhattan courthouse where he was arrested and arraigned on his indictments. He will go through the same processing as anybody else and will have to go through the whole judicial process. While I am very skeptical of how that will turn out, as I do not think that the coercive arm of the state will really do anything to actually penalize this man. The fact remains that he is under indictment for not one, not two, not ten, but thirty-four. Thirty-four counts. And that alone is quite the statement. He is the first president to be impeached twice, the first president to be indicted on actual criminal charges, and, you know, the first president to pay off a porn star. I don't know. But the point being is that, as of this moment, Donald Trump has been arrested and will now have to go through an entire court trial that will just drag his name through the mud and will dr br bring out all kinds of probably juicy details that we did not know a lot of things that you know happened during the Trump White House days that you know have been kept secret it's going to be an interesting it's going to be an interesting probably couple of years uh, to come. Now, that being said, we also must keep in mind that this means that the fascist right in America is going to retaliate. They are going to not let this just go by the wayside. People like Marjorie Taylor Greene are already holding you know, Trump rallies and are is and getting in bed with the Proud Boys, basically. Um, you know, people like Lauren Boebert are going to make statements, and it is very possible that we could, that the events that we saw back on January 6th of, you know, 2021 may end up, you know, being brought to a head, might end up even with other events like that, there will be retaliations, there will be violence, and there will be discrimination against minorities. This will not go down lightly with his fan base. It will not go down lightly with his political supporters. It will not go down lightly with the likes of the American far right. So, now more than ever, we as, as Americans, as trans people, gay people, black people, brown people, Asian people, Muslims, Jewish people, pagans, Buddhists, Hindus, Sikhs, all religious, sexual, gender, racial, and class minorities we need to be armed, we need to be ready, and we need to defend ourselves. Now is the moment that we have been waiting for for years, but now that that moment has come, if you have not planned for this retaliation, then you have seriously miscalculated.
Now is the time, if you have not prepared, to be prepared and to get ready. Because this, while a great victory in its own right, and hilariously funny, is going to have serious repercussions in the months and years to follow. So we need to be ready. But until then, Donald Trump has been arrested. And how bittersweet it very much is, but sweet nonetheless. I'm Red Peg and Nicole, and this has been Red Peg and Corner. Super, super,